right, guys, we are headed uh, to town to go check in on the neuro specialist to find out about my MRI. My eyes are still really messed up, so I'm wearing sunglasses today. I know it's hard to look at me. I tell you, when I watch my videos, it makes my eyes water. So here we go. We got to fill up the, I've got a leak in my tire, so we have to stop and use the compressor to fill the tire up. Then I have to bring in the garbage cans, check the mail, and we can head out. We've got about one hour exactly. It's about 1230-ish. So here we go. It's cold. It's overcast. Hopefully the roads don't get slick. If they get slick, I could really be up the creek. Uh, so we're just going to move forward and, you know, hope that things work out. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah, right? Let's go, Max.
the curb. Hey, come on, Max. Hey. I like to park over on the far end here. Right, I'm in four wheel. That's the reason I'm doing that. Go, 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 go. Or as Pop, I would say, gang, 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 gang. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's see what time it is. It is 107. Now, if I've got any money in my pocket, which I might have a $5 bill, I'm going to walk into the store and get a Dr. Pepper. Ha ha ha! Right on, man. All right, so we'll walk in, grab a Dr. Pepper, uh, then get our butts to the clinic. That was cool. Saw my buddy Charlie. Told him about my MRI, and he's like, "Yeah, I've got the same thing. I hope it turns out for you." And we were like, "Yeah, well, getting old sucks." And I, uh, yeah. So anyway, just good to see my friend. All right, grab this stuff. Grab that stuff. Lock my doors. Though that's what I like about this community is that we don't have thieves and ruffians. I better get my phone just in case I need the numbers. Actually. So, honestly, this is the kind of community where you could leave your, your doors unlocked, your valuables out, and they'll be there when you get back. So, let's go ahead and split. Like I like to say, make like my head and split. Ha ha ha. We're there, it's 1.20, I got about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go in and do this, and then I'll let y'all guys know what's up once we get out. Uh, might try and pick off a couple shots in there, like if I'm in the waiting room or something. Okay, here we go, friends. Here we go. Okay, friends, so we've got a problem. Uh, the appointment was for today at Wenatchee. So it's actually at 2 o'clock, and it is 1.35-ish right now. There's no way I can get home in time to make it to the appointment. I, okay, so slow down, man. What happened is... Being that it's in Wenatchee, I had it changed to a phone appointment, so they're supposed to call me. Uh, I had That gives me like 20 minutes to get back home, and I can't make it. Uh, so I don't know what to do. I can call and reschedule once I get home. So what I'm thinking about doing Hi. I'm thinking about just going on to the store, go buy my stuff, and then call them tomorrow, apologize, and reschedule. Because there's just, there is no way that I can make it back home in that time. Let's see what time it is right now. It's 1.40. It's 20 minutes. No, I can't make it. I know I can't make it. And I'm definitely not going to fly and get a ticket over it. 
it's all right, it's all right. I'll just, dang it. See, the problem is they said that it was the neuro department at the clinic, and I didn't realize that they meant the clinic in Wenatchee. <sighs> okay, at least I know that it can be scheduled for a phone appointment. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and go on to the store because I need to get my grocery shopping. Then I'll call them. Well, it'll probably be tomorrow. You see, I'd call them right now for my cell phone, but my cell phone's deactivated. Wait a minute. Wait, if I put the money in the bank, I could use my card, reactivate my phone. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm gonna get back to the pickup truck and think about it. Okay, so the way things have been going, I should have figured something like this was gonna happen. My phone won't connect to uh, the service. It just says failure to connect. Uh, I can't connect through Wi-Fi because I don't think you can even pay on phone service through Wi-Fi because you have to have a cell signal to connect. Uh, my phone's really old. It's the next thing that I'm gonna replace as soon as I can afford it, which will probably be next month, hopefully. I can't make it back in time I uh, oh man I guess I'm gonna go on to Walmart and just do my shopping I mean there's no way that I can get back home in time I'll have to just call them and tell them that I'm sorry, I had problems, I misunderstood that it was in Wenatchee, I wanted to do a teleconference anyway, but I thought that I was walking into the, to the clinic, so it would have been nice to be able to talk to somebody in person, you know, uh, and I got to the clinic and I found out that it was actually in Wenatchee, I just explain it to them, you know, they, they deal with, with the, country people who who we can't get back and forth easily sometimes you know so I'm just it, it sucks because it's just not cool to be a no-show so they're gonna call I'm not gonna answer and I don't look like a flake you know not to mention I, it takes me now however many more days it could be a week now you know again before I know what's going on I just can't stress out about it. I've, I've, it's just been too much. It's just been too much. I, I'm just going to mellow. I'm gonna go get my food and I... Dang it, could I just make it? Tell me I've got a charger in here for my phone. Yes, ha ha. Okay, we're gonna make this work. So what I gotta do is first place a call. Call, come on. Okay. There we go. I got service, I got money in my card. I gotta reactivate. I'll tell you how it's going in a minute. Cool.
Why ain't got no sleigh with reindeer? No sack on my back. She'll see me coming in my big black Cadillac. Boy, it's Christmas time, pretty baby. And the snow is falling on the ground. Yo! Gas jug! That's what we do for each other. Guys broke down, he's out of gas. Uh, so I, I gave him five bucks. That's all I can spare right now, you know. He was walking away and asked this other guy here and he was like, said no before he even got to him. So I was like, hey, and he couldn't he couldn't see where I was calling him from. So I'm like, hey, gas jug. And he came over. I forgot to put my shades on. I gave him the, the five bucks and he was like, hey, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, man, thanks. It's just immaculate edema. Yes, there's my phone call. Praise Jesus. Here we go, guys. <coughs> Hello? Hi, can I talk to Matt, please? Yeah, this is Matt. Hi, Matt. This is you're saying it's the left side. Yeah, yes. And I don't have any okay. symptoms anywhere else, uh, though. No, like, no right. tingling in my right. No, my left okay. foot is fine. Uh, bowel movements have been fine. Yeah, but then when I push it, like if I carry something or when I wash dishes and I put my arms out in front of me, it really gets really bad. And it's the whole arm then. It shoots up all the muscles. Uh, and yeah, it's just everything. Uh, the thumb doesn't seem to be as bad, but the whole thing hurts so hard, it's really hard to tell, you know? Okay, good news, I'm not dying. Uh, I got to talk to Rachel. Uh, she is my neuro uh, neuro specialist. She's the one that I saw when I first went to Wenatchee over this before it got so bad. Uh, she gave me a lot of information. Number one is I'm not dying and I'm not gonna wind up paralyzed. So she does want to see if it would be a good idea to have surgery done. She has a surgeon there that she said is really, really good. Uh, I asked her, well, is there a possibility that I, the surgery could mess me up worse than I am? She said that there's always a worst case scenario, though most of the time with this kind of surgery, it's very successful. All they do is they go in and they open up the little portion and the bone around the nerve to give the nerve more room. She said that this, the, the vertebrae, when it was damaged in the car wreck like 20 something years ago, it start, since then it started to close off that hole that the nerve goes through. So if they can go in and widen that out, I should be okay. She's gonna get a hold of the surgeon, figure out what to do, and then uh, get back a hold of me. <sighs> oh man, I needed that, okay, good. It's a little bit off my mind. She also said I'm all right to work. Uh, I can even do light workouts, small curls and stuff. She said mainly just listen to my body, that my body knows what to do, and please don't be macho with it. I'm kind of paraphrasing. Uh, okay, what else was there? Uh, she's going to send my records or my results to my, my practitioner. Uh, Okay, praise Jesus, hallelujah. All right, I'm going to Walmart now, guys. We're gonna go do my grocery shopping. We're gonna get that freaking chicken sandwich. Uh, come hell or high water. Hell or high water, ha <laughs> All right, thanks for being there, guys. Let's get the heck out of here. Okay, friends, we're almost there. We're about 10 minutes out from OMAC. I had to stop and take the pickup out of four-wheel drive. For some reason, the speedometer kept bouncing up and down. I also have to get, remember to get batteries for my dash lights, because my dash lights are run off of this, this battery powered flashlight. It's 
magnetic, I stick it to the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, steering column. There we go. All right. I hope this wasn't a mistake. It's sprinkled a little bit of rain every now and then. And if it gets icy on the ride back, I could really be up the creek. I've got a lot of experience driving on ice, but that experience has taught me that there are limits that we shouldn't push. I feel like I'm pushing it a little bit. We'll see how it goes. just about there. I think we're going to go to Walmart first. Read off the list, hit the shopping, in and out as fast as we can. Then we're going to go by Burger King, get my sandwich, and then we go home. Okay, friends, I've got just about everything. I'm looking for some Christmas lights and I have to circle back around, grab a roasting pan and I think we're out of here. All right, I got the lights. I'm headed back for a roasting pan and I think we can get out of here. I've got enough butter at home. I've only got 200 bucks to spend, so I wanna make it count. I'm at checkout. I'm coming in under budget. Uh, the turkey I selected, of course, didn't have a tag on it. You know me. I'll pick the lemon every time. So they're running back to uh, figure out the price on that, and then we can get out of here. Hey, friends. Now I am completely broke. I got, I think, $20, maybe a little less. I'm headed for Burger King, and then we're out of here. It just now got dark outside.
we gotta move. Roads are gonna freeze on us pretty quick. I don't know if I should even go to Burger King. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I want my sandwich. Let's go, Max. Come on. Come on. Ah, there you go. Let's go home. Well, after my sandwich. Here's my dash lights real quick. Where'd I put them? I stuck them in my pocket on purpose so I wouldn't forget them. Come on. Slow down, Matt. It's my phone. There we go. I got them. Christmas. All right, I'm order number 73. It's already dark outside, so the trip back's gonna be whatever it is. I'm dropping everything. Broke my candy cane. Okay, I got my sandwich. <laughs> All right, it's time to go home. I hate pushing things against the wire. That constant feeling of doom and gloom, like your neck's on the line. I guess most of the time, though, my neck is on the line. All right, guys, let's go home. That's my alarm. I've got a trip switch wired straight to the horn. So if somebody opens it while I'm gone, it, the horn will go off until the battery dies. Okay, I might eat that on the way back. I got a little bit of Dr. Pepper. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. It's not as bad as the snow. If it was snowing, I'd really freak out because that stuff will stick fast. We should be all right until we get to Tenasket because this is all a very high traffic area. So the friction of everybody driving on it's gonna keep it thawed. Once we get to Tenasket where the traffic slows down, that's where I'm actually worried about running into some ice. I think I can handle it. I have skills. All right, it's gonna get dark for y'all guys. I'm just gonna drive home, guys. If anything happens, I'll let you know, all right? Thanks for being there. Thanks for being part of the adventure. Couldn't do it without you, my friends. Hoorah. Never give up. Never surrender, because you're worth it. And remember, I believe in you. Just entering Tenasket now. The road hasn't been too bad. I hit a couple small patches of ice. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. The wind was the main thing. It did get breezy for a few minutes. I don't know if y'all can see anything. Okay, it's 25 in town. Guys, slow down a little bit. Okay. Guys, next stop home. I'll let you know if it gets rough. Other than that, hoorah! Well, I just, uh, somebody had lost a big 55 gallon trash can, one of those big plastic ones out of the back of their truck, I guess. And I just almost hit it. I did clip it with my right wheel, but I mostly got around it. I couldn't tell what the heck it was. It was just this big black thing. So hopefully I don't have a dent. If I do, hey, that's all right. That's why Max is a little beat up. All right, guys, I'll tell you when we get home. We can take a punch. Okay, we made it. Oh, nice. I like it when it works, right? 
I gotta run up to the boss's house, uh, let them know what's going on. They're really gonna wanna know about the results of my MRI. Make sure I've got pellets for the stove, and then I gotta take my food into the house. <laughs> and I've got my spicy chicken sandwich. Okay, hurrah. I'll see y'all guys in a couple. Ha <sighs> ha. I don't know if you can see it, it's just started snowing. Ha ha. Here's the always coming in right under the radar. I'm like one of those pilots that flies 10 feet off the ground. All right. Hope y'all guys have uh, had fun. Thank you for being part of the adventure. I couldn't do it without you. Thank you to all of my most recent new subscribers and the long time adventurers. I appreciate y'all guys. Hope you enjoy this video. I gotta get my stuff done now. Never give up, never surrender because you're worth it.